format of us. We will continue our discussion with stereo isomerism. Now we will discuss a very important point, counting the number of optical isomers. It's definitely a very important question in the micro entrances or in the GPAD entrances. Definitely have a question. Given a, given a compound and tell how many optical isomers this compound is exhibiting. So, this for count number of optical isomers, we have two cases. A very primary simple case and a third little bit complicated case. Now, the very simple case is what? The end carbons are structurally not similar. What do I mean by actually end carbons? Now, this is what I mean over here. This can be explained by this compound. The, the one we see over here, this compound is an aldehyde group and this is an alcohol group. So, this end carbons that we see is actually not similar. This is not aldehyde, this is actually an alcohol. So, this is what I mean by end carbons are structurally not similar. Those two carbons are not structurally not similar. This is a like classical example of glucose where uh, you can see the end carbons are structurally not similar. So, the for number of isomers for in these cases will be given by simple formula of 2 to the power n. 2 to the power n. Now, what is actually this n? n is nothing but the number of chiral centers or the number of asymmetric centers exhibited by this compound. This is a glucose which has actually four different chiral compounds. Chiral centers. You see, this carbon is actually attached to four different groups. This carbon again attached to four different groups. This also to four different. This is the same. So this is actually having four different asymmetric centers. So number of optical isomers this glucose is exhibiting nothing but two to the power four. That is nothing but sixteen. So this glucose will actually exhibit sixteen different optical isomers. This is a very basic thing, basic case where we have different end carbons. Now, optical scenario is when we have end carbons are structurally similar. Two different carbons are structurally similar. We have a little bit complicated case over here. You can actually derive all these formulas, but it's not a part of the syllabus. Just, yeah, just remember these numbers and formulas and we chop this out of the example to clarify you. When we have actually, this can be divided into two groups, even and odd. What I mean by even is total number of carbons in a compound are even. Or total number of carbons are odd. When you have even, we have a different set of formula, when it's odd, it's a different set of formula. When it's even, the number of optically active isomers will be given by the formula p to the power n minus 1. And the number of optically inactive or meso, meso compounds will be given by the formula of 2 to the power, it's not clear over here, let me just write this out again, 2 to the power n minus 2 by 2. Okay. This will be by 2 to the power n minus 2 by 2. Now we elaborate this with a classical example of tartaric acid. Tartaric acid, you can see over here, this n carbons is structurally similar. It is also carboxylic acid group, it is also carboxylic acid group. So, this is actually having, this is a chiral center, this is a chiral center. So, we have n over here is 2. So, we have chiral center. Now, apply this formula over here. Number of active, active isomers will be 2 to the power 2 minus 1. So, this will be number of optically active will be 2 to the power 2 minus 1, 2 to the power 1. So, this number of optically active isomers is 2. The number of optically active isomers is 2. And the number of optically inactive or meso isomers will be given by 2 to the power n minus 2 by 2. So, this is actually 2 to the power 2 minus 2 by 2, which reduces down 2 to the power 0 or 1. So, we have in tartaric acid, we have actually 2, two optically active. One optically inactive. So total we have actually three isomers. Three optical isomers, two optically active, one optically inactive. Now when we come to the case of odd, when the total number of carbons are odd, this is the number of 10. Remember this total number of isomers, the formula, we don't have a specific single line depth formula for optically active and optically inactive. What we have is formula the total number of isomers. Total number of optical isomers will be given by the formula to the power n minus 1. And the optically inactive compounds will be given by the formula of 2 to the power n minus 1 by 2. Just remember these formulas, by heart these formulas, this can be given in the exams. 2 to the power n minus 1 by 2. So the number of if you ask number of optically active isomers, we actually have to subtract 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 2 to the power n minus 1 by 2. This is a case where you have odd number of carbons in your carbon chain and the n carbons are structurally similar. Just by heart these two formulas, this is very simple over here. So we can actually count the total number of isomers. In this case, a very important part, very important, very easy part. And just just do a quick size of tartaric acid and get this. So continue the uh, after discussions, we all have other discussions on student chemistry. Thank you.